Welcome back Wolfpack, Vrillis here and this is going to be your guide to the Battle Maison. To get to the Battle Maison, all you have to do is beat the Delta Chapter, head to the Battle Resort, and then just head up the stairs and you're in. Now the Battle Maison is a place where you pretty much just battle endlessly. You receive battle points for every battle that you win, and the more streak that you have from consecutive wins, the more points you get. And then we can use those points to get some cool things that we'll talk about later. Now, the goal is to also try to get a 50 win streak in the super format of your choice. Now, at first glance, you might notice that there isn't a super format when the, you first do it. There's just kind of regular singles, doubles, tri triples, etc. Well, what you need to do is you need to do one of these regular ones and get a 20 win streak. Now, this is actually really easy. The Pokemon aren't really fully evolved, and you're not going to get the toughest of battles. So, once you do that, it'll unlock the super version of that battle format, and then at the 50th win streak, that will give you the um, ultimate challenge against the Battle Chatelaine. Now, if you think that sounds easy, <laughs> uh, it's much harder than you could really ever imagine. Because the Battle Maison, as you will inf infamously learn, or as you have already probably experienced, it will do anything to try to give you, you the hardest time possible that you'll see a lot of status, you'll see a lot of really gimmicky sets that you weren't prepared for, and overall, just, the Battle Maison will bring different teams depending on what you're running. That I've noticed trends that if I'm running a certain team, I'll see certain Pokemon. That when I'm running my Slurpuff, I'll see more Poison-type Pokemon. If I'm running my Salamence, I'll see more Ice-type Pokemon. That really, they try to counter out your lead, and they also adapt to the rest of your team as well, and it really doesn't matter, like, it's just going to change depending on what team you have, so... It just creates it to where it's going to be very tough. Now, there are some tricks that you can use to winning. That first off, you're going to need a Pokemon that sets up really quick, gets a lot of one-hit KOs really easily, and then just kind of like doesn't have too many weaknesses. Or if they do have weaknesses, you have a Pokemon that's ready to just switch into, and then you can play around those weaknesses. For the first main run, I can use Slurpuff. And with Slurpuff, I was doing pretty well. I could get about 30 wins just going Belly Drum into Drain Punch or uh, Play Rough, and it works out really well. A lot of people, they'll use Mega Kangaskhan. Mega Kangaskhan, you set up a Power Up Punch, so you get your two Power Up Punches, and then you Sucker Punch the rest of their team down, and it's not really too hard. Same with Mega Salamence, that you can just Mega Evolve Salamence, go for the attack or go for the Dragon Dance, and then just sweep it out from there, and you can do very well doing this, that, you know, up until about 30 battles, you can just kind of clean through an entire team and get really good. Now, after 30 battles, you'll start to see a little more hacks. You'll start to see really consistently strong Pokemon that will counter you out. I have a lot of physical Pokemon on my team, and I was seeing a lot of Ferrothorn, which was giving me problem because it was a curse set. So they're getting defensively tanky. I can't take them out, and then they'll throw a super huge hit and potentially just sweep me out from there. Now, once you hit 40 consecutive wins, at least in singles, you're going to start to see a lot of legendary Pokemon. That you'll see Latias, you'll see Reggie Pokemon, you'll see the legendary birds. You'll just see a lot of very powerful, very strong Pokemon, and they can do some pretty ferocious things to cheese you out of some wins. So, it's pretty rough on that standpoint. And then, we have the final battle against the uh, Chatelaine. So for the 50th consecutive win, it's always the same team. Landorus, Tornadus, Thunderous, in singles. Now this is actually really easy to play around. The only thing you kind of have to worry about is the Landorus has a Choice Scarf. So if you're using Salamence, which is what I did, that you can pretty much get a free Dragon Dance if she opens anything else, and then you can one-shot the team. So actually, since the, you know what the 50th battle is going to bring, it's one of the easiest battles in the entire thing. You can bring a Greninja throwing out Ice Attacks, you can bring out really any kind of Pokemon, and you can do very well against this, that it's not really the hardest thing to go up against the trio Pokemon like that. Now, for double battles, I pretty much just try to bring, like, the fastest, strongest gimmick possible. I try to reduce the amount of turns my opponent has to set up and pull some kind of crazy stuff, and my idea here is I just have a normal gym as elf using Explosion next to a Tailwind Tornadus that has Prankster. After that, I go into Charizard Y and Garchomp and try to go for an awesome double sweep and win in two to three turns. That way my opponent doesn't have a lot of time to set up, and I can just kind of crush a lot of battles really quickly doing this. And it's kind of just the way I've, I've gone through doubles. It's generally if you can try to find something like a Safeguard Meowstic Swagger into like a Kangaskhan or some kind of sweeper works out really well. Just something that's really fast, has a decent amount of support, that will generally do very well in double battles. Just outside of the main battle room, you can go and buy these items that help out your battling. That 
you have a lot of the evolutionary tradable items and the power items such as power band, power bracer for EV training. And then on the other side you have a lot of in battle use items like this is where you get your choice items, life orb, focus items. And it's just going to be really good from there. Now, what if you already have all the battle items you can need? You transferred them over from X and Y. You already won a lot of battles. Well, this is where Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire gets awesome because you have move tutors. Move tutors are how you get knockoff on so many Pokemon or let's say gunk shot on Greninja. That there are a lot of move tutors that if you hear like a move is tutor only for a Pokemon, this is where you do it. You generally spend anywhere from 8 to 32 battle points to give your Pokemon a really strong move that makes it a lot better in the game. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you get to the Battle Maison and that's how you hopefully can manage a 50 win streak. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a nice day.